The concept of the precautionary principle goes back to 1992. It was developed to deal with environmental emergencies. And the concept was that you didn't wait until all the scientific evidence was in before acting. You know, in medicine, this is something that I've referred to as the what if principle. You consider something as though it could be an emergency and serious enough to take action early. And during the COVID-19 pandemic, the World Health Organization uh, perverted the precautionary principle to require more and more and more evidence uh, before coming out with the guidance that was necessary and could have made a difference to the outcome of this pandemic. So when we look at the precautionary principle, there are Canadian examples. There's the uh, Justice Creever, the um, tainted blood scandal and the report on that. There's from Justice Campbell, there was the SARS Commission, and there were important learnings about how early action uh, was necessary. So the distortion of the precautionary principle by the World Health Organization is something that really needs to be understood fundamentally as we move forward to prepare and be responsive to emerging infectious uh, disease outbreaks.